Another aspect, which we'll cover quickly, is the fact that welfare, and I talked about this on a previous show, uh, today we've got to the point where in some states welfare programs, welfare benefits, particularly if you include unemployment insurance, are so lucrative that a lot of people choose not to go to work. A lot of people have just staying out of the workforce and living off of the state. I gave you the example, I think, of a show I did a while back of the fact that, um, you know, if you, if you take into account uh, after-tax income, a lot of people in welfare make about as much as uh, people in what you would consider the low middle class. It doesn't make sense for a lot of people to go to work because they actually will reduce their income. So we've created a system in many states which disincentivizes searching for work. And I came across this paper, this is a paper called Paying Americans Not to Work, uh, which was written by Casey Mulligan, who's a professor of economics at the University of Chicago, and others. And uh, they look at unemployment insurance in particular. And what they find is in the, that uh, three states, if you take into account benefits and unemployment insurance in those states, three, three states, Washington, Massachusetts, and New Jersey, actually, uh, people can, you know, the, the, a, four, a family of four um, has benefits that exceed $100,000, which means that um, you can go on the unemployment benefits for as long as they last, in different states that last differently, and you can live pretty well. And a lot of these states, some of these states, I think there's six states that don't tax these benefits at the state level. Um, I think a lot of states, most states, uh, you don't pay Social Security and Medicare taxes on this money. Uh, so if you take all that into account, these are pretty amazing benefits. The, the median, um, median secondary school teacher makes 81000 Median construction and building inspector makes 80000 A median electrician makes 78000 This is uh, nationwide. Median firefighter, 66000 The median heavy haul trucker makes 63000 And yet, you can actually get to $122,000 in Washington State. And one of the things that they looked at, interestingly, just to show the relationship between unemployment insurance and in unemployment, is when the uh, when during COVID, states gave six hundred, uh, the federal government gave additional six hundred dollars in state unemployment insurance. They added six hundred dollars to that. What happened? Well, what happened was jobs went unfilled. Massive numbers of jobs went unfilled. As soon as that expired, somehow those jobs filled up again. The same happened when uh, under Biden, they, that was under Trump, they, under Biden, they increased unemployment insurance by 300. And there, different states eliminated the 300 additional different points in time. And you could see a direct correlation in the study between when that additional insurance was paid, was eliminated, and how quickly jobs were filled, job vacancy was filled. So there's a direct correlation between how much you pay people not to work and between how many people work. I know that's shocking. I know it's surprising. But sometimes you have to write an economic paper in order to show this. So this is a, a paper. I don't think it's been published yet. It's a pre-publication paper. Um, but it's, it's stunning, um, I, you know, how much and, and, and uh, the, the, the extent to which these benefits make it, it just doesn't pay for some people to try to look for a job. And as a consequence of that, there is a vast number of people who don't look for jobs. And as a consequence of that, the, you know, what do we say, the, uh, the uh, labor participation rate today is still lower than it was before COVID hit, in spite of all the, in spite of the fact that the, 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 the economy seems to have recovered, there are plenty of jobs, 
unemployment rate is very, very low, but there were a lot of people who lost their jobs during COVID who will never come back. Some of them will never come back because they retired. Some of them will never, won't come back at least for a while because of the variety of different benefits the state is providing them not to work, to encourage them literally not to work. Stay home. All right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.